Hi everybody. It's pouring rain outside, so I figured I'd do a video in the pouring rain since uh, Shay Shay did a video from the beautiful Florida the other day. I have to make a comparison. But <laughs> tripping out on tornado videos this morning and uh, watching all these different uh, super tornadoes, you know, that uh, they just blow me away. I was, I've been fascinated with weather, you know, like, like any, anyone else would be, but um, you know, my wife was looking at, at uh, various tornado videos and uh, was looking at some of the comments and it kind of, kind of got me back interested in uh, finding strange things embedded in like road signs you know, and uh, in windows. There have been stories from, uh, from tornadoes about like objects being embedded not just embedded in something. You know, they've, scientists have been ignoring this for a while now because they don't, they can't readily explain it, and so therefore they blow it off. Um, there have been cases of people finding a straw through a pane of glass without any damage to the glass, without any broken glass. There have been. There was a case of a drinking straw found in a stop sign with the plug of aluminum still inside this the straw, and but it was sitting through the stop sign. And when they pulled it out, of course, the thing fell apart. Um, so it could not have been forced there by, by wind. And uh, many other stories just like that. I mean, you can look them up, they go countlessly. And this ties into the strange objects they found in rocks. Like they were digging a well and 100 feet down they found an old tree stump that was 50,000 years old that had an ax embedded in it. They found coins in lumps of coal. They found a gold chain, a 14 karat or a 24 karat gold chain in, inside a lump of coal. An old lady found it. Amazing things that should not exist where they do. So I'm tying these two these two uh, ideas together because I think that they're on the same plane. I think that these tornadoes, because there's two there's two going theories and. The first one is ridiculous, and what a lot of uh, what I've heard a scientist say was that uh, the heavy winds of a tornado cause the tree to bend and open up microscopic, you know, cracks in the tree, and then allows the straw to penetrate or whatever it may be. Then it closes back up after the tornado. Completely ridiculous. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense because usually the straw is still intact. It, it would it would annihilate it. Um, you can't push a straw through a stop sign with wind, no matter how much wind there is. It would just crush it. So, the second going theory is that the heavy winds at the center of a tornado create an, an energy field, an electromagnetic field that is different, could be multidimensional, there are a lot of different ways to explain it, I guess, but to where, say this straw is vibrating on a different rate, it's vibrating on a different frequency than the stop sign, and as it passes through the stop sign, and when they both come into conjunction within the same vibratory array, you know, they stop. And it really makes sense. I mean, but it's not explainable. So with the current technology we have, we can't really prove that happens one way or another, but it really gets me thinking about how multi-dimensional planes can exist right here. And it only takes an energy force big enough to read that or to tap into that. I can't explain how a person could find a spark plug in a, in a piece of rock. Now, there's a couple stories about that. A lot of people think it's a hoax, but there was one that washed up on shore. It was a spark plug embedded in some old rock. There was another one that was found in a geode. And uh, there have been stories of, um, in South America, there was, uh, I believe, in, um, in Mexico or Peru, Peru, I think it was, Cusco. And they, uh, uh, the locals had this rock and they broke it up and inside they found a perfect six inch nail that was obviously made by man. So what we have is these strange anomalies that happen. And I think it's just kind of a little glimpse, kind of, um, it's kind of a little awakening. It's kind of like a, a way for people to say, hey, you know, these things exist and uh, forces exist that we don't understand. What really amazes me is that I also think crop circles are tied into this. I think that um, crop circles are created by electromagnetic energy. Fractal patterns that are very similar to the way that cymatics work, where you vibrate um, a plate with sand on it at a certain frequency and it creates a pattern. And I think that there's some sort of a force trying to show us 
through crop circles that this energy exists. And I really do believe it to be multidimensional or interdimensional. And when you say the word multidimensional, people all have their own idea what that means. I have no idea what's going through your mind when I say it. But <coughs> for those who are laymen on it or really don't understand it at all, with like the rest of us, I guess, you could look at it like this. That atoms are mostly empty space, 99.9% .9%, I believe empty space, if not more. And um, therefore within that atom could exist other forms of energy, whether it be a, a different dimensional atom. This could be the dark energy that people talk about. I don't know enough about it. I just know what I've researched and I think it's fascinating stuff. I, I am still just amazed at how some of these things could happen. And it looks, it's really easy for people to just say hoax. Now that seems to be the top going comment for a lot of videos when people say something that's just really, really out there, they just say, oh, it's fake, you know. And it's easier to say fake than to try to rationalize it, I think, in our own minds because we're trusting the top scientists to tell us how these things happen. And when they don't know how, they, they, they clam up and they move on to the next thing. And uh, it makes me wonder if sometime within our lives, we're going to have the ability to pass through solid objects or perhaps do uh, <laughs> what's it called when you go to one place teleport teleportation that kind of stuff um, I think all space time and matter it's nothing more than projections of energy and um, it's a perfect system but once in a while, once in a while, that other dimension, that dimensional tear, rips through, and I think that's how we can see things like ghosts, um, uh, UFOs. Um, I have a really different view on UFOs than I think just uh, than a lot of folks. You know that it, that are just these beings from other planets that travel around the universe and and uh, saw Earth and think, ah, we'll check this out, or that there's all these. Uh, groups of planets that are in this coalition to, you know, I don't know what any of that's all about. I, I, I'm not, in, I'm not big on the whole speculation on the uh, Pleiadians and all that stuff. I just believe that within our own world and within our own universe, our own dimension, um, we have our material world and within these other dimensions, there are other worlds that we don't understand. And once in a while, these things pass into our dimension. And that's kind of like what happens when people see a UFO that's passing and it just disappears and then reappears in midair. There have been cases where, um, in like, I think Arizona, where UFOs have been flying through the air and they kind of skip in and out of vision. And uh, people might say, well, that's their, you know, their uh, camouflage or whatever. but. I see it as almost a, a ripple in time or a ripple in the dimension where these beings can come through. And I think that through manifestation of our own minds and manifestation and conscious effort is how some of these things are called upon, these other dimensions which may be considered, um, I, some might call them gods, some might call them aliens, some might call them beings, interdimensional beings, or even just consciousness, but uh, I think that there's a way to tap into that with the human mind, if we can get to that frequency. And uh, this might have something to do with uh, the whole idea of ascension or, you know, passing into another dimension. Maybe we have a, the ability to literally vaporize our bodies and go into another state of being. I don't know, I just, I thought that the, the stuff about tornadoes was fascinating and I just, just wanted to get that out there. Anybody who's interested, look for the rocks embedded. Look for the things embedded in rock. Uh, Google, um, Google strange objects found embedded in rock or anything like that. It's, it's cool stuff, cool stuff. Better go. <laughs> My videos always end up being too long.